Hi guys, welcome to Little Learning Corner. My name is Skylar. And I'm Sarah. And today we are going to be sharing with you five St. Patrick's Day crafts. And they are super easy and quick. So you can whip them together at the last minute and do them with your kiddos and they will have lots of fun, right? Did you have lots of fun? Yeah, I helped with a lot of these. Okay, first, she's going to share with you her favorite, which is... This rainbow that... So we took a pipe cleaner, then we made a rainbow out um, of Fruit Loops, and then we took marshmallows, and um, we sticked... Stuck? Stuck this in the pipe cleaner into the marshmallow, but really first, you actually stick this into the marshmallow and then when you're done you bend it and then it looks like a rainbow so let's show it to them okay can i so go here it is. Close? it's a rainbow marshmallow so this can also be a treat for your kiddos on saint patrick's day so you just need two marshmallows a pipe cleaner and some fruit loops and there you go easy um, peasy i want to go up close go show it to them real quick yeah Here it is. Super cute. So we did a pattern when we're done with the rainbow. Okay, come on back. Okay. <laughs> okay, and next she wants to share with you Another this one. one of my favorites. You want this one? Yes. Okay. And the first one. This one is super easy. It's very easy. So first we took a piece of paper. Let's show it to them up close. First we took a piece of paper and then we took... Um, rainbow markers and we drew a rainbow with them. When we're done, when we were done with that, we took um dot stickers. Yeah, dot stickers and we set them on the rainbow. And for the purple one, there's really no line. And for the clouds, we took cotton balls and we stretched them out and then we glued them on the bottom. So to make this rainbow, this dot rainbow activity, all you need are markers, dot stickers, and two cotton balls. Two. Easy two. peasy. Easy. Lemon, Lemon squeezy. Squeezy. Next up is the St. Patrick's Day bead Blame. bracelets. Why don't you go up and show them what it is. Okay. So to make these bead bracelets, we practiced using our St. Patrick's Day vocabulary cards. And she built the words using the beads. So go ahead and show them what you built. Okay, so I um, I did this one. It says rainbows, but it looks a little blurry. So it says rainbows. And then I did a heart bead. And, I did, and it's a rainbow. It's, it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple, white, pink, and dark. Okay, so to make the St. Patrick's Day bead bracelets, all you need are pipe cleaners, beads, and we what? like the letter beads, too. Yeah, letter beads. And if you would like, I will put the link below for the St. Patrick's Day vocabulary cards. We have rainbow, Irish, gold, pot, leprechaun, leprechaun, all the goodies. So I will put that in the link below. Okay, next up is our shamrock painting. All I did was I found a template of a shamrock online cut it out and taped it onto the paper and then from there what did you do um so we took mini marshmallows and we put them on a plate and we put green paint there too and we traced it like a mold and then we just did dots on the outside and it turned out like this good so just put a little bit of green paint on your um on a paper plate get mini marshmallows and then you're going to take them and you're going to dab them all around. But first, what you want to do is, what she said, is you trace around it so that way you have the pattern done and then you do the extra dots. So that is a perfect center activity or activity for you to do at home with your kids. So next we did a rainbow spiral pot of gold paper plate activity. So first we just took a paper plate and she painted rainbow stripes yep and then we um took 
scissors and we made a spiral with it. We started. And now it looks like this. Around the edge and we made a spiral. So and then so we can hang it and at the end or at the bottom of it, what did you put? Um, so we took black paper and made like a pot and we took these plastic gold and we glued them and some of them are hanging like up above and there's you can put as many as you want but not too much you don't like you want to see like a lot of the black because if you like put too much it's too heavy for the um thing Yes. And it'll break. Yeah, so you want to not put too much gold on there. But you could also just use yellow construction paper for gold. But we have all of these plastic gold coins that we just glued right onto there. It just <laughs> makes it kind of fancy. We hope that you enjoyed this video. There were only five activities to keep it nice, short, easy peasy for you. And we hope that you will come back to watch our next craft. Maybe we should do some Easter or spring. Crafts. Hit the bell button for you. Don't miss any videos when we um, post them. And hit the thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs up button. Okay, we will see you in our next video, and it might be Easter or spring crafts. And rain and gold. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>